It's not super uncommon to see houseplants like these ones here to be marketed as being able to purify your home. Put them in your home and they'll just magically take out any unwanted particles that could harm you. And there's even an infamous NASA study that confirms this, that plants can indeed take out chemicals in our air. But I wanted to test this in my own home to see if I can confirm this. Do my house plants actually clean the air in my home or would something like an air purifier work better? And that is my mission today, to see which one, plants or an air purifier, will work best. To start this experiment, I got an air quality monitor and I let it adjust and regulate for about a week. It does connect with an app and it lets me monitor the air quality in real time. And this will kind of be our standard to measure and see if the air quality really does change. So once I had that baseline, after a week, I began the test. I grabbed all my houseplants. I put them all around the air quality monitor and I left them for a full 24 hours. And I'll show the results in just a second. After that 24 hours, I took away the houseplants, I put them far away, I let the monitor rest and reset, and then I set up my Dayette air purifier. And just to tell you a little bit about this purifier, it has a four-stage filtration system. It includes a HEPA 13 filter, which is basically a high-quality medical filter, and it can capture up to 99.9% .9 of particles, measuring down to 0.1 microns. So I let this run for its maximum time, which was 12 hours and then I ran it again for another 12 hours to give me a full 24 hours to compare the plants to. Okay, it has been a few days of running those experiments and I wanna share the results that I got from my air quality monitor. So starting with the results from the Dayette air purifier, you can see here, I've circled the day that I had it on. It all stayed in the low green zone, which is the healthy zone. And you can see here on a bigger scale that there was a unique area that just stayed down in the green. Whereas moving on to the plants, it followed the same trend that it had been taking the past few days of having a time of day where it popped up into the yellow zone. So the plants didn't seem to take any effect on the normal trend that I had been seeing on my air quality monitor. So with those results in mind, and in no ways is my experiment some high scale scientific experiment, but I do think it's very telling. And it brings up the question of why are houseplants marketed as being these great air purifiers when really they don't seem to do much? Actually, before I get into this, I do cover this topic in a lot of detail on my podcast. It's called Plant School. Episode 47 really dives into the nitty gritty details of all the different studies that have been done. So if you're interested in that, go look up Plant School on any major podcasting platform and listen to episode 47. So first off, the NASA study that was done in 1989 is quoted all too often when it comes to these house plants being marketed as great air purifiers. And it's not actually a study that can really be applied to our home. The reason why is because that NASA study was done in an enclosed chamber. It was sealed up and as you may have noticed in our homes, that's not the case. We have windows, we have doors, we're going in and out. We have heating and cooling units that are constantly switching out the air in our homes. Therefore, plants cannot keep up with the pollutants that are being brought in day after day. Whereas if they were in a sealed chamber, they could make a difference in our air quality, but that is simply not how we live. In fact, if you did want plants to make a noticeable difference and clean the air in your home, you would need hundreds, if not thousands of plants. And that in and of itself, is just not attainable and also could cause mold problems, humidity problems in your home, cause your home to rot. So it's just something that's not really feasible. And the EPA, which is the Environmental Protection Agency, actually says the pollutants in our home compared to outside is two to five times higher in our home. So it makes sense why marketers want to tell us that 
buy house plants. It's going to help clean the air in your home because it is something that we want. We are worried about the quality of air in our homes. But the fact of the matter is, is that house plants cannot really make a difference for us. What can, as we saw from the results, is something like an air purifier. So if you are actually wanting to clean the air in your home, I do recommend using an air purifier, such as the day at one that I showcased in this video. If you're interested in that particular one, I highly recommend it. I will include a link in the description of this video if you wanna check it out. And it did a much better job at cleaning the air in my home rather than relying on my plants. So when it does come to my indoor air quality, I know that I'll be using an air purifier rather than filling my home with a lot of plants, which I might do anyway, but I don't expect them to actually clean the air in my home. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. If you want more content about houseplants and the green world, be sure to subscribe. I'm always trying to come out with content that is helpful to you as a plant owner.